Let's head to the Authorization tab and choose AWS Signature from the Type dropdown. Copy-paste the Access key and the Secret key that we just created, then hit the Send button again. Consider this. You have a REST API deployed using the Amazon API Gateway, and now you want to enable IAM authorization for your clients. Can you do this using the AWS console? Let's find out. Let's start by navigating to the Lambda service, then click on Create Function and give it a name. Choose Python from the Runtime dropdown, hit Create, then scroll down to the Code Source section. Click on Test, then hit Invoke to execute your Lambda function and confirm that it's working as expected. Next, let's head to the API Gateway service, click Create API, then hit Build in the REST API section. Give your API a name, hit Create, then choose Create Method from the Actions dropdown. Choose the Get method, then confirm Lambda function is selected for integration type. Select the Lambda function that we just created, hit Save, then click on the Test button to test your Get method. Confirm that you see Hello from Lambda in the response body. Now that our API is working as expected, let's deploy it by going to the Actions dropdown, then hit Deploy API. I'm going to create a new stage here called QA, then hit Deploy. Let's copy the Invoke URL, then fire up our Postman software and hit the plus button to start a new request. Paste the Invoke URL, then hit Send and confirm that you see Hello from Lambda in the response body. Next, let's navigate back to the API Gateway tab, go inside the Get Resource, then click on Method Request. Change the authorization to AWS IAM then let's redeploy the API. I'm going to select the same deployment stage of QA, then hit Deploy. Next, let's head to the IAM service, click Users, then hit Create User. Give your user a name, hit Next, then select Attach Policies Directly. Here, I'm going to select Amazon API Gateway Invoke Full Access Policy, then click on Next. Hit Create User, then go inside it and navigate to the Security Credentials tab. Scroll down to the Access Keys section, hit Create Access Key, then select Other for Use Case. Next, click on Create Access Key, then hit the Show button to see your secret. Let's navigate to the Postman software now and hit the Send button without adding any authorization and confirm that you see missing authentication token in the response body. To fix this, let's head to the Authorization tab and choose AWS Signature from the Type dropdown. Copy-paste the Access key and the Secret key that we just created, then hit the Send button again. This time, your API should work as expected and you should see Hello from Lambda in the response body. There you have it. But before you go, here's a question for you. Why did the AWS API Gateway go to therapy?